All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not hear me. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I come ye glory that ye might have life and that ye may have it more abundantly. 11th verse says, he said, I am the good shepherd. And the good shepherd gives life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd whose own sheep are not sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and fleeth and the wolf catches them and scattereth the sheep. May God add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. Heavenly Father God, we come to you once again. Thanking you for your goodness. Your mercy. Your mercy. Your love and your kindness. Asking God that you look up on our hearts and take out anything and everything that's not like you. Forgive us, your people for all that we've done against your will. Lord, search my heart. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus. For these are your people. There's nothing I can give them that'll help them unless it comes from you. So I'm asking God in these few moments that you would word my mouth. Have your way. Hallelujah. Have your way. Have your way, Jesus. Do what you want to do. Hey, and we'll be careful to give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. to give 
the drummers, the organists. I didn't have much to give them, but I tried to give them something. And Brother Jeray turned around and said, Pops, he said, if you're not taking nothing, I ain't taking nothing. He said, I can do this. You know, I, I, I can make it. If I ain't seeing you get nothing, why in the world would I take something? So glory to the Lamb of God. A lot of times, and I wrote this the other day, we have to stop turning God's gifts into gigs. Oh, my Lord. It's time out for it. We don't preach for money. We don't sing for money. We don't play for money. Stop turning God's gifts into gigs. So I'm talking about the hiring. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I almost feel like preaching right now. The hiring is a person who works purely for material reward. But I want to ask you, where is your reward coming from? The Bible also tells us that if we get our pats on the back, if we're doing it for vain glory, that we have our reward already. Come on, somebody. Our reward is somebody saying good job. But how many of you know that the word of God says that eyes have not seen? Ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man what God has prepared, oh my God, for us. So a hireling is a laborer employed on hire, but it's only for a limited time. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And his wages are paid as soon as his work is over. Some of us are looking for an instant reward. Come on, somebody. Some of us are looking for an instant reward. But sometimes your reward is not going to come instantly. Sometimes you got to suffer a little while before you get your reward. That's the truth, sir. Sometimes you're going to take some ups and some downs before your reward comes. But I heard him say in the word, if you suffer with me, you're going to reign with me. Somebody shout yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And this is for us that are doing things for vain glory. Come on, somebody. Some of us do things for validation. And let me say this real quick. Young ladies, ladies, whatever, men, you don't need a man or a woman to validate you. Some of us are just looking for gratification. Oh, my God. And some just simply want a pat on the back. But once again, you have received your reward already. Glory to God. And this is a lesson that we are giving today. And in this lesson, I want you to stop allowing your life lessons to be life sentences. Somebody shout yes, Lord. Stop allowing your life lessons to be life sentences. Oh, we have a lesson and we get stuck in it. Hey, glory to God. But your lesson shall lift you up. Your lesson shall take you somewhere else. You ought to learn from your lessons. Glory to God. I almost feel like preaching. Hallelujah to God. But it's time for us to understand this, that even the love of money, the love of material things, sometimes we just get stuck on the money part. 
but it's material things because that's the only thing that money can buy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The love of money is the root of all evil. Yes. What are you in it for? What are you working for? Oh, glory to God. I don't know about you, but I heard the song say the reason that I'm living this life. Yes. It's because I don't want to be lost. Yes, Somebody shout, yes Lord. yes, Lord. We have so many ups and downs. Oh, my God. Sometimes we got to suffer. But if you suffer, you're going to reign. Just a small testimony, and I'm going to get out the way. But I, I tell you, I remember when I started the church, I gave everything I had. Yes, sir. There was some time that I would give to the church and didn't have anything for my bills. But God always made a way. There was a time when I didn't have any food in my refrigerator. And I had a nosy brother in the church. And that, that nosy brother was watching me because I turned around and I got some money uh, uh, offering for somebody to get some food. And then the brother gonna come over to my house after church. Yes, he did. And what did Brother Robbie do? The first thing he did was what he do in everybody's house. The refrigerator. Went to the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And he got so angry with me. How in the world are you buying food for someone else when you don't have anything in your refrigerator. He said it. I said, calm down, chill out. I'm going to have something. We got something to make something with. He said, I don't want to talk to you. He went out my house and slammed the door. Yes, he did. Then he came back with some bags of groceries. And he came back with a $100 bill. And then he walked out and slammed the door again. <laughs> But what he did not understand is that God used him to bless me. Because if you give, it'll be given back to you. Woo, come on, somebody. Good measure, press down, shake it together. And run it over. It is better to give than it is to receive. But we choose to be hiring. Y'all ain't liking this oh, message. Love it. Ooh, glory to God. So it's imperative, Brother Tony. That we learn how to be givers. It's imperative. Oh my God. That we learn how to love God. on somebody with everything that we got thank you Jesus because if you're doing it for anything else whew, come on somebody you can't sing like the clock sisters they said is my living in vain is my giving in vain is my singing in vain the devil would like for you to believe that your paying tithes is in vain. Yeah. But if you're doing it for the right reason, no, no, no. Of course not. Yes. It's not in vain. You got to make sure that you're not being a hireling. It's more than just for the preacher. It's more than it just for the ministers and elders. But it's for everybody in the pew. We got to be saved from the pulpit to the back door. Woo, come on, somebody. Look at somebody and tell them you got to be saved. You got to be saved. One more for the Holy Ghost. You got Thank you. 
for Jesus. It's going to last. For the Bible, the Bible says that heaven and the earth is going to all pass away. And behold, a new heaven and a new earth. When, when it comes to me, 
I'm nobody. Don't y'all get this twisted. But people ask me, what do you want to come preach for me? I turn around and I say, whatever you want to give, whatever God puts on your heart. And these folks don't believe that I'm saying this. Because so many hirelings are out here. Yes, so many people are doing it for money. Yeah. So I'm asking you, Revival Center, that everything you do in word or in deed, do it all as unto the Lord. Yeah. Because we got enough people giving the church a bad name. That's right. Amen? Amen. So don't turn God's gift Come on. into your gig. Y'all catch that? Yes, sir. My God, my God. Woo! Woo! Brittany didn't catch. She got hit in the head with it. Soldiers 
in his own and not paid actors. Which one are you? Which one are you? Oh God, I better stop. I better stop now. I'm almost done. But you know the actors. But those are the ones in here talking about hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And then as soon as they go out the door, they're ready to cuss you out. Now don't get it twisted. I ain't saying we ain't gonna make a mistake or mess up. Because your pastor's not perfect. That's right. yeah. But what I'm saying is, you got to make sure your heart is right. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen? Amen. If we was doing some poetry, Sister Pinky, they'd be going like this. Did y'all get that message? Don't just get real for a moment, but stay real. Don't, don't just do it when you come in front of the church and feel the spirit touching you. Because the devil feels the Holy Ghost. And what he do, he do just like some of us. He start running. Y'all missed that, didn't you? But sometimes we need to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. All right. Is there anyone that's out of the ark of safety? that don't know Jesus as your personal Savior. Let today be your day. There might be some of us that have been messing up. Because I tell you, if you messing up, I'm messing up. Because we're one. And I want us to get it together. Hallelujah. Will there be another to just rededicate? Is there anyone that's ready to say, I'm ready? I want to change. I want to do something different. Or I simply want to be right with God. Is that you? And I tell you what, we can all do it together. Because Lord, the things that's not like you, that's in me. Take it out. Help me to be right. Help me to be saved. Every time song says, I try to do the right thing. End up doing the wrong thing. The only thing I seem to do is keep on messing up. Ah, but you told me if I would seek your face and turn from my wicked ways, you would forgive me, you would heal me, and you would give me one more chance. And I thank you for that chance that you have given to me. And I tell you, when God starts blessing, the devil starts messing. So whenever God wants to do something in you, wants to use you, the enemy is going to try to turn your life upside down. Come on, somebody. You're going to start missing this, missing that. This going to hit you. That's going to hit you. Somebody gonna steal your rent money? Uh, but God is able. And what he wants us to do is stay focused. Be 
be consistent. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give the Lord some praise right there. Over these years, I prayed for you a lot more than I prayed for a lot of people. You hear me? Because I know a lot of the things she deal with.